guys you are highly welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel i'm sending you a warm welcome and some kisses thank you so very much for joining me today i am really happy guys i want to quickly show you and share with you how i make my healthy overnight banana oats you heard me right healthy overnight banana oats so come with me and let's make this breakfast for tomorrow together and let's see how it's gonna be done are you excited should we do it let's do it come on come with me let's go to the kitchen let's do it <laughs> so yes guys um here we are and we're going to be needing um bananas porridge oats milk your jar or your cup wherever you want to put it and um cocoa powder and that's basically it so let's get to action what i will do first normally is get my oats this is the kind of oats I use. I use this type of oats. And all I do is just turn it here. I just don't know why I do this. Because I just feel it's more convenient and fancy. And it looks beautiful, doesn't it? So that's what I do. And all I'm going to do now is get a deep bowl like this. I love to use a deep bowl because I don't love to make a mess while I'm in the kitchen. So I just get a deep bowl like that and get my measuring cup. And I'm going to get two cups of my oats. So I'm just going to do that in here. That's one cup. And this is the second cup, two cups. So I think that should be fine. So you can set aside now. And then what I do next is get my milk. You can use any milk of your choice, but all you have to make sure you get is um, one cup first and see how it goes in there. So I usually use semi-skimmed milk and I just measure it in here. One cup. I give that a stir. I still need more milk. So I'm going to go for another half cup of this. That's all right. And I'm going to be adding soya unsweetened milk as well. Just to have different mix of milk. And I'll get that to almost filled up but not so full because all I'm trying to achieve is the second cup of milk and like you know I am a definition of eating healthy yet enjoying your life you've got one life to live so I'm going to be adding this evaporated milk so now fill the milk up the one cup so of course we would not be using too much but then we still need our delicious creamy stuff in there. So this is all I do. And I just fill that up with the evaporated milk. So as to get the creamy, thick, delicious taste in it. And I just throw that into the oats. Wow. This is looking yummy already. Throw that into the oats so i'll go ahead and give that a good stir mix it all up so that all the milk can mix up properly with the oats and this is the outcome can you see let me come closer so that you can see this so this is what it looks like and you give that a good stir and then all i do is i just leave that to sit aside here and i take my second bowl what i'm going to do next is get my banana and get a bowl like this i'll peel this up into the bowl and mash them all up i have 
have peeled um, the bananas into the bowl and all I'm going to just do now is take my fork and mash them all up like that. I'll mash them all up just like that. As you can see, I've mashed up all the old bananas, so I'm going to mash it all up a little more. So this is what you should be looking out for, this consistency. But you can mash it all up more if you want. Um, this is the consistency I like mine. So yeah, this is mashed up now. All I'm going to do next is get my cocoa powder and I'll be adding I'll be adding two teaspoons of cocoa powder. That's it. And I'll give that a good mix. I'll mix that all up. So yes, this has been thoroughly mixed up. Can you see that? This looks so lovely and yummy. So you mix that up thoroughly. But please remember, if you would be using more bananas, then you have to increase the number of the um cocoa powder you'll be using as well so i used four bananas and that is why i have to use two teaspoons of cocoa powder so that is that one that this is done simple and easy we're going to move on and the next thing we're going to do now is simple and easy get your jar <laughs> this is one of my best breakfast easy to make easy to prep and that's it get my paper to make sure my cup is thoroughly clean and my jar so now we're going to bring him back the oats it's been resting now for about five minutes so now all we're going to do is it's time to plate it so now what we're going to do first get this mix the banana mix and get it into your jar like this and you try to spread it around to give it a layer form spread it like that Next thing we're going to do now is get the oats to top it up like this. I just hope people can see this. To top it up like this. And when you do this, you form a layer. Like you're building your mansion. <laughs> so you build your mansion. Form a layer yeah. through the side of the jar. Can you see that? And after that, we'll continue to build the mansion, continue to build our beautiful mansion, form the layer again, use the banana mix, straight up forming the layer. Build a lovely mansion. Okay, guys, that's it. Breakfast is ready, simple and done. And the last thing I'm going to be adding is my peanut butter. I love to use the crunchy one so my food can be so crunchy and delicious. One teaspoon for the peanut butter. You just put it on top like that. That's it. Same thing with the other one. 
I just put that on top like that. And that's it. And that's it. Breakfast is prepped, ready. All I need to do now is just seal it up. Just like that. Cover this up. Just like that. If you look closely, you can even see the layer I formed in this one. Isn't this just beautiful, guys? Isn't this just lovely? So all I'm going to do now is take them into the fridge. And it's going to sit there overnight till tomorrow morning. And we're going to have this for breakfast with lovely fruits. Now, it now depends on you, on your fruit of choice. Simple, easy breakfast to make. This looks so lovely and it smells so nice. I think I'm going to make one more jar and add to this. This is lovely. My husband and I are ready for breakfast for tomorrow. So, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining me and good night. Let's go to the fridge, babies. I love you. <laughs> Hello, guys. Good morning to you. And I hope you had a lovely night because I did. And it's time for my breakfast. I can't wait to dig in into this because all through the night, I was just thinking about this lovely meal and I just cannot wait to dig in. So I'll be having mine with my choice of fruit. In here, I have got mango, apple, and plum. These are my choice of fruits, but it looks a bit too much. I don't think I'm going to have this all with this um, 500 ml of breakfast. So I've got to start now to dig in. Like I told you all earlier, this is my best breakfast meal for now. I just don't know why I fell in love with this this period. I love this so much and I can't wait to dig in. Ubi has gone to work with his own and he prefers to eat his own just like that without fruit. I don't know why. What do you think? Type in the comment section and tell me, would you prefer to eat yours like that as well? Or would you prefer to add fruit alongside with it and if you're going to add fruit alongside with it what would be your best preference when it comes to fruit to jam this food together <laughs> i can't wait guys let's dig in Woo! oh wow oh my god bless this food oh lord for christ's sake amen god please continue to provide for us and for those that don't have sanctify this food let it nourish my body and strengthen me more in jesus name i've prayed amen amen no oh, i can't wait to dig in really hmm. Hmm. oh jesus oh jesus guys this is super delicious ah Mm. Mm. give it a try and let me know what you think if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel give this video a like a thumbs up like this video it means a lot to me comment it means a lot to me and subscribe when you subscribe turn on the notification bell that way you'll be able to know when i post my new coming up video and trust me you'd love it you would love it Bye, guys. <laughs>